morning, everybody. Welcome to High School Sports Extra. I'm John Garrett. Billy Wessels here, too. How are you doing today, John? I'm doing pretty good. Be feeling a little bit better if we would have won the homecoming game, Billy. Yeah, it's always rough. You get the, get the big crowd in for, for homecoming. You get a bunch of alums in uh, going way back. I saw some people as far back as 50 years ago, a bunch of the... Uh, Bunch of charmer alums from 50 years or so are celebrating on the field after the game. So it's, it's sad to to lose a game when you have a bunch of a bunch of locals in town. But uh, you know what? Sagan was just a better team last night. Wapsetchi loses 44-33 over Sagan, and I mean, there's a lot of stats about the running game. They only threw five passes. Sagan did, and I think coming into this game, they were a good team. They've had some penalties to them a lot. They've been a high-scoring team though, but. You know, they've, they've just kind of kept the ball rolling this week on us. Yeah, so again, uh, the offense had been really good. Uh, defense have really struggled for them, which is really the key. Well, just to give that stat, the first half, overall 26 plays, walks at you 173 yards. Seguin, 38 plays, 312 yards, and 304 of those yards rushing. Yeah, that's your uh, that's your stat. You you were talking about that before the show, how much you love uh, what Seguin did with the ball in the first half. When you're first out of play. That's not good. That's <laughs> not good defensively. Uh, a couple fans after the game were talking to me saying, hey, we need, we need to find a defense. And it's, yeah, <laughs> pretty much need to find a defense. And it's fitting. It's it's October, almost Halloween. you got the Jekyll and Hyde Indian team. Well, on a high note, of course, our man, Trayvon Hughes, he's just, he's an old horse, man. He's steady, you know? You you uh, have a, a big-time man crush on Trayvon Hughes. I know it's not to love. Dude's a stud. You think he's listening right now? Probably not. He's probably sleeping. I hope he's sleeping. Uh, after 24 carries, 111 yards, and three touchdowns, and that's including getting injured, a minor injury during the game. I hope he's sleeping right now, resting up, staying off his feet. Oh, oh man, 52 over Midlothian. Okay, 28. okay, you read that box score and you get real depressed and sad, right? Oh, here's man. the here's the thing for that game. That game was tied at 24 with five minutes left in the third quarter, with four minutes left in the third quarter. Minnesota was in that game. Minnesota's the number two ranked team in the state, 5A, arguably top 15 or so in the nation. That's how good this Minnesota team is. So hang with them 24-24 for almost for two and a half quarters is something. And then Dontre Wilson just took over. Uh, DeSoto's star running back. Oregon commit. So oh. that's how good he is. Think about that for a second. Runs a sub 4-5. Uh, scored on a one-yard run, a 58-yard pass, a 19-yard run, and a three-yard run. Had five total touchdowns on the game. That kid's going to be a freak. Uh, <laughs> but Midlothian really did hang around. Great night from Patrick Hernandez. Uh, the running back who, I, just by looking at them, taking the eye test, should probably be getting the bulk of their carries. And he looks more like a running back than Justin Seaton does. Uh, but both of them play really well. Uh, Hernandez last night, 15 carries, 175 yards and a score. I see myself dancing through a field of daisies listening to this song. Yeah, and everyone else is super jealous of me right now because I did just get to see you do a little jig. A little fancy. Yeah, a little fancy. Let's talk a little volleyball. You wanna talk a little volleyball? Let's do it. All right, split their matches last week. Uh, Tough loss at Red Oak. Uh, got swept by the by the big rival. You don't ever want to see that happen. Uh, and that really was probably the worst I've ever seen them play. And uh, it, it's unbelievable that they, they didn't they just weren't ready to face their big rival. Uh, but then last time they came out a little bit better, a little sluggish at first, uh, but did end up getting the sweep against Wellington Tiki. And then every Saturday at 7:30 a.m. to KBEC 1390 for the high school sports special with John Garrett and Billy Wessel.